Ja. Dieser Why do you wish to join the civil service? Sir. Both my parents are in the government service and in particular I've seen my mother who's in the cabinet secretariat. So she worked in both India and abroad and I've seen the difference that when even one person when they do their job well, they can make on other people's lives in the government sector. And apart from this, I've also worked in an NGO where we work closely with the government and I saw how much of a difference, if we get support from the government, how much of a difference it makes to other organizations. Quite right. Would you like to ask? Yeah. Mr. Pratyush, since one of your parents has, is in the cabinet secretariat and has traveled abroad, let me start with asking you something on our equation with China. Now, there are a number of irritants in our relationship with China. One of them is the CPC, then the NSG, then standoff in Dokla. What can you tell me? Let's start with the CPC. Uh, what is our objection to CPC and what is the strategic significance of CPC for China? We object to CPC because it violates our sovereignty. In That's one. Then for China, why is it? Uh, what is the strategic significance for China? The CPEC gives China an outlet towards Africa and Central Asia through Pakistan. Mm -hmm. This will reduce its dependence on the on for energy on the Malacca Strait, where it can be cut off in case of a conflict with U.S. And what is the distance? Any idea about what is the length of the CPEC? So I'm not very sure. About three thousand kilometers. And the route which they used to take through the states of Malacca was almost double that, yes. more than that in fact. Now what about the NSG? Why are the Chinese uh, so adamant on uh, blocking us on the NSG? So the NSG would give us access to critical nuclear technologies which could help our nuclear energy program. Mm. And China seeks to equate India and Pakistan which it says that if India joins NSG then it should, be, uh, it should allow Pakistan to join as well. I feel that like China does not want India as a member of the NSG because in the future we are stepping stone towards say, even the UNSC or, great, or greater role internationally. Now, uh, in Doklam, why did we take such a firm stand on that? I believe that it was, we took a firm stand and it was the right thing to do to send a clear message to China that India will not take stand for any compromise on its core interests. And what is our core interest in Doklam? In Do Doklam is very close to the chicken neck which um, potentially can cut off India's north east. Right. So basically it was a strategic importance for us. We could not have allowed them yes. to have access to that, right? Yes. Okay, good. Now, uh, Pakistan has been uh, put on the grey list. By which organization? The Financial Action Task Force. Right. Now they had a meeting recently in Beijing. Yes. And uh, they are supposed to have the plenary session where in February. Where do they meet? They, they meet in Paris. In Paris. So what is the role of the FATF? The FATF was set up to curb financing of, of terrorism and money laundering. And money laundering. Okay. Now uh, I was reading in the papers that the U.S. which had been quite hard on Pakistan, <coughs> there's a representative of the State Department who made a statement that Pakistan has done well on the financial action, the various uh, lacunas. Why do you think that the U.S. is softening its stand? This year there are going to be presidential elections in the United States yeah. and President Trump has made a signature part of his campaign that he's going to withdraw the U.S. from foreign wars and in particular Afghanistan where they've been stuck for nearly 17 years and to get out of Afghanistan they need the support of Pakistan to bring them the Taliban to the negotiating table. Good, very good. Right. Now, you know the, uh, the issue of Supreme Court judges, is there a procedure by which they can be removed? The constitution allows for the impeachment of judges by the by a special majority of each house of parliament. So what is the procedure? 
probably for in the first case, uh, one fourth of the members of parliament must bring a notice to this effect, and then a special majority, which is two thirds of the members sitting and greater than the total majority of the house, must pass to pass a resolution. What about the committee? Uh, uh, before that, a committee must investigate the allegations. And, and, who, uh, and uh, who are the members of this committee? I'm not completely sure. I think it's the Chief Justice of India. Yeah. Chief Justice or a Supreme Court judge, oh, and then and a sitting Chief Justice of the High Court and an eminent jurist, right? Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, Mr. Pandey, you have an impeccable uh, academic record. Thank you. And uh, you have chosen IAS over IFS. Why is that? So it's. I was actually was so attracted towards both these services, but I would prefer to remain in India because my brother has is gone abroad to pursue his studies, and I don't would like to be close to my parents. Good. And now you were associate intern at Clinton Foundation. Yes. What did you do? So, so this was my internship at IIM Ahmedabad, where I got the chance to intern with Clinton Foundation. We work with the Ministry of Health to assess the national aid control program in India. So I was a strategy consultant in that I identified where we can, we need to concentrate our resources and I developed a machine learning platform to identify which patients are at risk of stopping their treatment so that we can provide them counseling well in advance of this. So what is your opinion that India has been able to curb this? AIDS disease? Yes, so we have done very well because as of now uh, the age prevalence is around 0.2 percentage in the population which is much less than what it was earlier and especially compared to countries such as in Africa. Uh, now coming to let's say international affairs, uh, what do you think is the most important bilateral relations India has? I would say at the moment it is with the United States of America. Why? Because for the, in the first place the United States is the foremost economic and military power in the world as of today. We in addition have a very strong diaspora relationship with the United States and we are strengthening our security and defense collaboration such as the logistics agreement we have signed with them and the intelligence sharing from agreement. What do you expect from Trump's visit to India? The Trump administration is very transactional in nature, so I wouldn't pin my hopes too highly. I They focus heavily on trade and deal making, so I would imagine that we would be able to sign a few agreements to help resolve the disputes that we currently have with the United States. You, do you think that India has met the targets of the SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals? The Sustainable Development Goals are, are the target for 2030, so it, we are currently still on our way to meet them. I, I believe that in certain aspects we have fallen short, such as health or, or even air or the environmental quality, but in other aspects such as reducing poverty, we have made great progress. And uh, you've read about the budget? Yes, sir. So what do you, why do you think the census, uh, census has fallen so rapidly? So I think the stock market, the market had greater hopes, in, especially in terms of uh, immediate expended capital expenditure from the government. And I also feel that the dividend distribution tax abolition has disappointed the markets. So do you think the budget is a damp script? That would, I think would be too harsh, especially given the fiscal constraints the government faces. I feel that this was a reasonable budget. And uh, so what should the uh, finance minister would have done because of the constraints? Could have done better? I feel that uh, the opportunity which we have missed is rationalization of uh, the subsidies which we currently, especially in agriculture sector, this could have saved a lot of 
resources which could have been used to pursue in infrastructure development. For example, switching the subsidies and fertilizers and agriculture to direct benefit transfer, such as which China has done. So do you think this, uh, all this investment process which uh, finance ministry and other ministries are trying, do you think they will be able to sell Air India? So the new uh, terms on which Air India is being sold are more favorable than what they were previously, so I think there will be greater interest from bidders in this. So what is the incentive they have given on the infrastructure sector in this budget? In this budget, they, we have s s uh, dedicated lines for agricultural products so in the in the railway in the rail infrastructure, such as the Kisan, I think, transport lines, and we've also going to we already announced the 102 lakh crore push for infrastructure. Yeah, that's true. Also, they have allowed the southern. Funds to invest yeah, that tax consultant for them. Reading about stockism and self development, what have you read in that and uh, reading fiction? What is the latest book you have read? In stoicism and self development, I've read it about a book by an Austrian psychologist, Viktor Frankl, called Man's Search for Meaning. In that, he describes how even in the, in the Auschwitz concentration camp, it was possible for some of the prisoners to, to remain true to whom they were, to refuse to get molded by the surroundings in which they were, they were in, and did not become hardened into cruel and uncaring persons. Even in those surroundings, they could retain the freedom to choose their own attitude. Thank you. Thank you. You had uh, sociology as a subject. Yes. Hmm? Uh, if I said that there are certain sociological causes which lead to crime, what would you say? I would agree with you. We Can you mention some of these causes? The upbringing of an individual is perhaps one of the most significant. Okay. Anything else? In another scenario, it would be the society itself which gives, which does not condemn crime which does not condemn crime or does not, like, let us say, punish the crime doer to the extent which he should be punished. One major cause of crime, patriarchy, yes. crime against yes, women, yes. Hmm? Yes. everything stems from there. Yes. Hmm? What are your views on capital punishment? Um, I believe that capital punishment does not serve the purpose of deterrence, but it should still be retained in certain rare cases, especially such as terrorism. So to bring down crime levels, what can be done? Uh, there are two, two ways to achieve this. Hmm. One is deterrence. That does not come from the, the severity of punishment, but the probability of punishment. This requires an overhaul of the entire judicial, investigative and prosecution procedures. And the opposite end is inculcating the right values in people. So speedy justice. Yes. That's very yes, important. Okay, it's also said that in India, social institutions are undergoing change. Social institutions like the institution of marriage, institution yes. of family. Would you agree? Yes, ma'am, I would agree. Uh, tell me about family. How is the family, family structure changing? So traditionally in India, we've seen a joint family when more than three or more generations live together under the same roof. Now with greater urbanization, there's a move towards a more compact family structure, so particularly a nuclear family structure, but also live-in relationships. Are and also they are talking of the concept of jointedness, that because of moving to urbanization, uh, both the family members yes. are working and yes, therefore sir. they want their parents or yes, grandparents sir. to come and stay. Is yes. that correct? Yes, sir. one reason is to look after the grandchildren and the other is the better health care facilities in urban centers. Yes. So how is marriage, institution of marriage changing? So we've noticed several changes in the institution of marriage. Mm -hmm. One is that the age of marriage has risen. Yes. This is partly because of the greater education and employment for girls as well as pressure on 
boys to settle down financially before they can marry. True. And Anything else? There's a higher divorce rate. Yes. This is, again, because of women empowerment, the women are no longer compelled to stay in unfulfilling or even abusive marriages because they have greater economic independence. And anything else? I would say this is still something I've, I've only read a little about, but the very idea of marriage itself is being rejected as merely a social construct. So, so as you said, living, yes, living relationships. All right. Now, my last question. It is said that Indians do not cast their vote, but they vote their caste. What does that mean and who said this? Who gave this thing? I do not know who said this, but... Ramchandra Guha. Okay, what does it mean? It means that when we go to the the polls, hmm. we do not look at the merit of a candidate, we do not look at what he can what bring to the, do for the nation's development, we look at whether he is of the same caste as us and then we vote for that candidate. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, to work, promote gender equality, both the government and the society have to work together. Can you name some of the government schemes? One well, of the major initiatives the government has taken is the Beti Parhao, Beti Bachao Nolan, which aims at educating people to treat the girl child equally and to invest in her education. Linked with this is the Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana, which because this aims to provide financial incentives and support to people to educate the girl child because it's noticed that people focus their resources on educating their sons who they believe will give security in their old age. Okay. Even other schemes like Mudra, mostly women are aware yes, of yes, the scheme. Uh, have you heard of the uh, Regional Comprehensive Economic yes, Partnership? Sir. In November, we opted out of it. Why? Can you give some reasons? So, the decision to opt out was taken because it was believed that Indian industries and Indian agriculture are not competitive enough to face the competition internationally. And it was noticed that in the past free trade agreements, India's trade deficit had increased. The, uh, and in this case, with an RCEP, India has a trade deficit with 11 of the 15 partners. Uh, do you think that the problem was with RCEP as such, or because we didn't have the capacity to uh, avail of the RCEP? I believe it's a sign of our weakness that we could not go for the RCEP. What is the export to GDP ratio now? So our exports are roughly $300 billion and our GDP is $2.7 billion, so I believe it's around 11%. Uh -huh. okay. And it has, has it come down or is it an increase? It has come down because our exports have stagnated. You were asked a question about gender equality. The judiciary has been very active in bringing about gender equality. Can you cite some landmark judgments? In the 2014, we had the NALSA judgment, which, uh, so which empowered transgenders and declared that sexual orientation is a part of the fundamental right to life and privacy. We had triple talaq judgment, which held that triple talaq is unconstitutional because it discriminates against Muslim women. And we had the Sabri Mala case in which it was held that women had the right. Very good. There's something called gender budgeting. Yes. Do you see this uh, some advan uh, some positive trends in the in the budget which has been announced yesterday as far as gender budgeting is concerned? So gender budgeting is aims to translate the government's gender commitments into actual budget outlays. In the budget announced yesterday I do not recall specifically about any. There are, there are, there are some specific provisions. Okay, good. Uh, you have done B.Tech in uh, uh, civil yes. engineering, right? Yes. Now, I have read somewhere, uh, I don't know, you know, we have this problem of uh, plastic waste. Mm. And I read also, that Mukesh money is saying that I will use this for road building. Yes. What is your view on this ex expert view, you, since you've done it? Is it feasible to use it for road building? Yeah. And how? 
Yes, sir, it is feasible to use plastics for road building. And in fact, this concept itself was pioneered by the plastic roadman of India, uh, Professor Vasudevan. The advantages of plastic in road building are that it reduces the bitumen and cost of aggregate. It brings down the entire costs. So how, in what way will it be used, all this waste? We, will you melt it or what? I believe it's first, it's introduced in the part, in the batching and mixing stages of concrete itself. Before the road is actually but laid will down. will it not make it brittle, the, the, the mixture? No, so it, the, it depends on the composition of plastic which we use. Plastic does not replace the bitumen or aggregate, aggregate completely. It Only around 30% of the plastic waste is used in the entire concreting process. Will it strengthen the Yes, it actually increases the strength. Where is the uh, report? What authentic reports you have got? Any IIT has done any research? I don't think an IIT has done a research on this, but they, we've had one or two pilot studies, and I believe that even in New Zealand. Where was it done? One is in India where this concept was pioneered, but it has been taken to greater lengths in other countries instead of India. Which country? I think it is New Zealand, if I'm not wrong. And they are using it actually? Yes. In what subject, what was your main subject in MBA? So in Ayurveda, we don't have any specialization. We, so what were your subjects? So we have general exposure to all aspects of business administration such as finance, marketing, operations, human resources and in the second year we can choose our electives. Right. Are there primitive tribes in India? Yes sir. Names, uh, three important ones? The Onges, Jarawa, Sentinelis in the Andamans, then I do not recall. Okay, never mind. Any of them is a Paleolithic um, of Paleolithic age? I think Sentinelis and the Great Andamanese. Is there a case for bringing them into the mainstream? No, sir. I believe that we should respect their sentiments and unless they choose to join the mainstream, we shouldn't impose it on them. Right. <clears throat> now, privacy is a major issue on which Supreme Court has given its ruling last year, right? Yes. This year, Supreme Court, about a month back or two months back, made a very, very uh, strong commitment, uh, comment saying in, in respect of a case, there is no privacy left for anyone, for any one of us. What was that case with which it was dealing? I am not aware. It was a case from Jharkhand, a police officer had been put under surveillance, he and his family. So, I think Justice Janshul, who was one of the very outstanding judges, he made a very scathing comment. Have you heard of Pegasus? Yes, sir. What is the threat from Pegasus? So, Pegasus was a software which was used by an Israeli organization and it was put in other applications like WhatsApp to to spy on people this without their consent. Spyware. Yes. Spyware, right? Yes. What is the controversy in India? So the issue is that Pegasus is sold only to government agencies throughout the world and it was... With the consent of the Israeli government. It cannot be sold otherwise. Yes. Therefore, what are the suspicions? The suspicion is that it could have been used by a government agency to obviously, target its obviously. opposition. Where is the matter pending? It's pending it before the courts. Yes. All right. Last question. What is HDI, Human Development Index? The Human Development Index concept was pioneered by Professor Amartya Sen and Mahbub ul Haq. So it's, uh, it basically rejects the notion that development is the same as GDP growth and it seeks to bring other variables such as education, healthcare and access to resources into the picture. There are three ingredients of HDI. Yes, what are those? One is educational attainment in number of years. The life expectancy. Health and last? Access the per capita income. Yes, living standards. Yes. It is dealing with poverty or whatever yes. it is. What, where, where, what is India's position today? India is 130th in the HDI. Have we improved or deteriorated? We have more or less stagnated at that year. Yes, we have improved only one, 129. Out of? 181. 189. 189. Very good.
We close the interview. Thank you. I give you a, a feedback. Pratish, you have done extremely well. Thank you have been able to handle most of the questions nicely. Your uh, expression is good. You are very uh, well informed. And you presented your answer in a very cogent manner. Am I correct, sir? Yes. Okay. So you very should good. take heart from this uh, observation you. that uh, you are a very strong candidate. Now, there are areas where we would suggest now for further studies. Take a look, close look at your biodata. Most questioning will be based on your biodata. Sociology, MBA, civil engineering, then reading uh, about stoicism and cell development. Fiction, you will ask these questions, right? Then IES is your subject, but foreign service is your second choice. So we have asked you questions on foreign policy, etc. Okay. Yes. So these are some of the areas. Then budget, it becomes very important. You will ask questions on that. And current affairs, like Mr. Trump's visit, SDGs, and uh, sociology of especially we asked questions, right? Women empowerment. So these are some of the areas which we feel are very important. Yes. Now I request my colleague to give you some. First, like you have done very well. Thank you. And you have a very good knowledge of all these subjects. Uh, and I just have one point that uh, perhaps in the actual interview, you can avoid mentioning that your mother is in the cabinet secretariat. You can see she's in government service and has served in India okay. and abroad. Okay. Yeah, thank you, sir. You're doing very well. Thank you. Very well. All the best. Thank you. Good luck. Good. Best of luck. Thank you. Only thing in the actual interview, just close it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 minor thing. Yes. Done very well. Thank you. Okay. All the best. Thank you. Just leave your video outside. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.